Hey guys! Hello, Ken here and welcome back to on another video. Today I thought I'm gonna show you such a short review regarding um, my newly found brand of oil paints that I recently love. And yeah, it's the Lucas 1862 which is their um, artist grade paints and their student grade paints which are the lucas studio so yeah without further ado let's just start the review so um i came across this brand of oil paints maybe about a year ago and i started with these five colors to just test it out before i actually bought a lot of um oil tubes so i have here the um, Lucas 1862 Indigo for here and I also have these following colors the Lucas Studio Burn Sienna I have Olive Green I also have the Indigo Student Grade and their um, Lucas Studio um, Cadmium Red Deep Hue which is not the real pigment for a cadmium okay so what I actually like about this um, paint tubes is that is that their um, their consistency is really good. It's like um, butter, but they also dry quickly, which is really perfect for me as an artist, which um, usually does a lot of um, glazing to their works, and yeah. I'm just gonna show it to you and also um, recently I just bought some big tubes because I'd like to uh, invest um, bigger tubes with this brand so I have here um, ultramarine blue um, it's the Lucas 1862 still so it also has it says made in England and it's a 200 ml tube actually um, these um, brand of tubes were a bit cheaper than the ones um, available here in the Philippines. Um, it is actually sold for about eight, um, uh, eight hand, I think it's 800 plus Philippine pesos um, compared to the other brands of artist grade paints. They usually start for about i think it's 1000 plus philippine pesos so it's way way cheaper that's why it's an another reason why i um i am happy to try these colors um i mean these brands <laughs> a bit more okay so i also have here like a burn sienna and also i have the lemon yellow primary all of it are 200 ml tubes and also i have here indian yellow of the lucas studio which uh studio which is their um student grade paints still it's 200 ml and also i have cobalt blue hue okay still 200 ml tubes Oh, and by the way, I just started using Indian Yellow about a year ago as well. And this is my substitute for an another yellow. But I know that there is like an issue with um, Indian Yellow that pertains to its light fastness. And I guess as well, um, Indian Yellows were not too light fast. But I actually like the transparency of the um, Indian Yellow. And I... I am I also love to mix it with titanium white to make it more opaque and um these Indian yellow uh this and uh Indian yellow um really shines through in my painting and yeah that's it <laughs> and yeah maybe I I can show you I can just have to for this one first okay And maybe I'll just try some, um, I'll just compare their artist grade and their student grade paint. 
So I have here an indigo and I'll just compare it with their student grade indigo. And I also have, maybe I'll try two colors today. I also have here a burnt sienna for their um, artist grade. And I have here as well their student grade uh, burnt sienna. Okay, so for a while I'll just set these things up. So today I will just be using this wax paper. Actually, this is like a tier of uh, paper palette. And my handy brush. Actually, um, just a fun fact, this, um, this knife, palette knife, is, um, it started, uh, this is when I just started my um, painting journey. So this one really is a bit old already so just bear with it i just placed a masking tape for this one here <laughs> okay so now i'll just squeeze out first my colors i'll start with my burnt sienna okay so as you can see their consistency it's too creamy but there is no um binder separation okay so i actually tried um other brands and this is the first this is also what i like about lucas is that when they squeeze off the tube there is no binding separation so yeah i actually like that kind of thing it's too annoying to see like when you squeeze your own paint and then there is like a lot of oil that it's coming out right so it's so annoying <laughs> so that's why when i just first tried this lucas i am actually excited and i'm actually happy as well because there are no by bi um, binder separation okay so i just squeezed my colors out so these are my burnt siennas and my indigos so the ones on the left were the artist grade here and then on the right side were the um my um student grade okay so for a while i'll just get first my um white okay so here is my titanium white i just used the mary's oil color titanium white I'm just gonna squeeze it out actually this is the first brand that I when I just started oil painting this is the first brand that I um, used when I'm just practicing so I have a lot of memories with this brand of oil paint <laughs> but now I am just slowly investing in some premium and artist grade paints so, okay, let's start. So, I'll just um, test the tinting strength for both colors, for both um, grades. So, I'll have here, I'll just need to get at least maybe some equal portions for each, um, each grade of paint. Okay. Just some small amount will do. So I'll just start first with the burnt sienna. So here's the burnt sienna. This is the artist grade. And let's test how it looks like when it is tinted by white. So actually it's not that bad. It goes very well it's really creamy not too stiff which is I also like about Lucas because it doesn't take a lot of muscle or energy to you know try to mix your colors since it's not too stiff compared to some um, paints so this is how it looks like for the artist grade I have here next one I have here the student grade I am 
trying my best to get the same amount of okay the same amount of paint for both okay so as you can see I don't know if you can just tell it from the video since my light is too bright but as you can see it's way different and um, you can see that it's pigmented and you know that it's really worth it to I mean it's really worth it for your money and you got to experience as well the nice consistency that we are looking for especially for those who prefer um, um, just few energy to really exert when you mix using your palette knives so this one I'll just proceed with my artistry still an indigo and over here let me just get my paper towel and I have here the student grade I hope I can get an actual amount the same as the others I hope so <laughs> okay So I don't know if you can see it ver uh, very well. Let, maybe let's let me just zoom it in a bit. Okay, so this one here is the artist grade, burnt sienna. This is the student grade, burnt sienna. This is the artist grade, um, indigo. This is the student grade, indigo. So I don't know if you can, um, if you can see it that well in the camera. I hope it translates to the um, to the camera but as you can observe especially the indigo the tinting strength of the artist grade is way um, it's it, it takes a lot of white oil, oil paints to make it more lighter compared to uh, its student grade so which tells us that this um, this paint tube is way pigmented um, there are a lot of pigment um, added to it so yeah that's basically it and maybe I'll just try as well um, um, let me try to thin it down for you I have here my this is actually uh, linseed oil from the Windsor & Newton brand refined linseed oil so maybe I'll just place a little bit here oops okay and I just get a small amount of maybe the burnt sienna first. Um, this is the artist grade. So it it really flows easily when it when it is mixed for glazing. Okay, so it looks like this once it is mixed with a little bit of lean seed oil. This is perfect for glazing, which I usually do a lot with my works. And also, maybe I'll try to... Um, okay, I'll try to get some of the indigo as well, mixed with the linseed oil. Okay, so over here, maybe I'll just place it around here. Okay, and I'll just get... The artist grade ones, okay, and thin it down with the linseed oil. So as you can see, it's really transparent as well. So it really adapts very well when you thin it out. There you go. And also, I thought I'd try to uh, make it more, I mean, I will mix it a little bit with a liquid impasto, which is still the same from Windsor & Newton. Let me just clean it off a bit. Okay, so I have here my Windsor & Newton 
uh, liquid impasto medium. This is also, um, sometimes with my works, I usually add uh, liquid impasto with it to have my brush strokes preserved on that painting. Because I, sometimes I usually love to see some really thick and bold brush strokes with my artwork. So here, maybe I'll just squeeze a little bit for it. Okay, there, not too much. Okay. So actually what um, the liquid impasto makes to your um, paints is that it retains, as you can see, it retains crisp textures and brush marks. It also speeds up drying time and this, um, it gives like a semi-gloss finish to your um, painting. So I will mix it with the, um, the student grade. Or maybe, yeah, I'll just try the student grade this time. Since I already tried it with the linseed oil for those artists grade. Okay, just get a small amount. And then I tried mixing it with the burnt sienna. And as you can see, it's a bit thicker, a bit dense when it is mixed already. So actually, um... I think that Lucas um, oil paints were very versatile, versatile, and um, I actually love their way. Uh, I mean, their texture a lot, and it doesn't take a lot of muscle to try to mix it with the other paints compared to the others, which are a bit more stiff. And yeah, and also I would like to share as well. It also gives um their information over here like their um pigment codes and their transparent i mean their light fastness test which is the stars given over here and what else okay i think that's it okay there so yeah i hope you enjoyed um watching this short video a review for this um, Lucas brand of oil paints and if you do like the video kindly subscribe and like this video as well it helps a lot with the channel um, growing okay so I guess that's it everyone and I think see you next time next video bye bye take care